every player's path to the NHL is unique. None may be more rare, though, than David Schlemko, who grew up in the hockey hotbed of Edmonton, Alberta, but traveled through a small town in Arizona. His story of getting to the NHL might be an unfamiliar course, but in Prescott Valley, he is no stranger. Now, as the Phoenix Coyotes begin another season in the Valley of the Sun, they first head 92 miles north for a team retreat in Prescott Valley, a place where it all came together for David Schlemko. The Central Hockey League is, is a little bit different. I didn't expect to be there my first year pro, but um, at the same time, you know, it's, uh, it's an affiliate of ours, so you just kind of do what you got to do and go to work. Speaking of hard work, that's exactly what the Coyotes yeah, and Schlemko eventually did in Prescott Valley, in between some fine dining and a few rounds of golf. They took the ice for a couple of practice sessions at Tim's Toyota Center, the home of the Arizona Sundogs. Schlemko won a CHL championship there back in 2007 when he recorded 10 goals and 39 points and put himself on the fast track to the NHL. Yeah, to bring back a lot of memories, it's a little bit surreal actually uh, being out here, but uh, obviously anytime you win a championship, uh, the memories are good, so it's been fun. Your coach was talking about the fact that you were a dominant player at this level, but then he added this, opportunity not, and you made the most of it because of your hard work. Is he right? I hope so. <laughs> I mean, oh, like, like I said, you want to improve every year. and. Uh, yeah, so it was a little bit of a wake call for me after my first year. Uh, like I said, it was great here, but obviously I wanted to, uh, I wanted to keep moving up. So uh, you know, it takes hard work to, to keep moving up every year. What about the appreciation for just what you have when you think about this situation and any guy that's in minor league hockey, riding the buses, doing the time, knowing what you have right now at your fingertips as opposed to what you have? Oh, it makes you appreciate it. That's for sure. I know it's uh, it's always funny to. So us guys who came up through the minors when, uh, say, have a guy who's been in the NHL's whole career and they're complaining about going through customs at the airport or something, <laughs> and you've been through a 20-hour bus ride, you, you learn to appreciate what you have up here.